Welcome to another tutorial for Wolffire's Ninja Rabbit fighting game Overgrowth. Today we're going to be talking about rigging and animation. Pop open the object browser and pick out your favorite 3D mesh. Here I'm using the Rabbit Guard model. Make sure your object is selected, then click on the Meep, 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 Meep tab. Then click the Rigging Tool button. Now if you hold control, anywhere you click, a joint will spawn. And you can place them wherever you feel they are appropriate. Individual joints can be selected and repositioned using the same old controls we had in the map editor. Alright, this guy needs some bones. By holding Alt and clicking on one joint, then another, you'll draw a bone connecting the two. Okay, this skeleton's looking pretty good. When you're all set, pushing Control T rigs the skeleton to the 3D character mesh. High five! You can now move whatever parts of the skeleton you want, and the rest will follow in accordance with their constraints. Oh, I know, Kung Fu. Let's click the Reset Pose button, and by pressing Control A, we can pop open the Animation Editor. Pressing the Diamond button will create a keyframe that stores the current pose information. Keyframes will always spawn to your current time position within the animation sequence, and this is designated by the little blue line. The adjustable gray area marks off the designated length of your animation. And of course, when you push play, you get to watch the smooth transitions between your keyframes. I'm going to edit my animation to incorporate a little arm action here. Aw oh, yeah, getting jiggy with it. A lot of people have been asking what kinds of character meshes will work with the animation system. The answer is that any object that can be loaded into the Phoenix engine can be rigged and animated. Check out our friend Mr. Stone Column, for example. God help us if someone tries to animate the fan-made Whaleman model. If you'd like to start playing with these tools yourself, you can pre-order Overgrowth to get our weekly alphas. Be sure to keep up with the latest overgrowth development news at the Wolfire blog.